Uh, welcome back to the, uh, another episode of the Ottomans, where we guys, we're going to be conquering the rest of the world. So, we just got to call this bill out against Colombia, and next thing we're going to do is get our claws this bill out against our good friends, the, uh, let's see, so, Urgundy, Paraguay, bye. Right. Uh, no, you don't get to be my friends, Italy. I'm sorry, but you guys have annoyed me for no end. Like, this entire Let's Play, you guys have been nothing but a pain. In fact, in a past life, I believe you guys invaded me and actually took some of my land. I don't think I'm a very appreciative of you guys doing that. Oh, there it is. Tongo. Yeah, Tongo. Yes. Converted that to its own state. Yay. Okay, but anyways, guys. We're going to be invading here very, very soon. Um, I just kind of want to make sure that we have our armies all in position. I mean, this is going to be a pretty simple war, no doubt, but we'll make sure our armies are all in position. And let's see. For Italy, we want to also make sure we're decreasing relationship with these guys as quickly as possible so we could start doing a cousin's better against them. But in the meantime, because I don't want that to distract us, let's see, who do we want next? Let's see. Oh, shoot. Was that the meeting place? No, good. Whew. I thought this was a meeting place, people, there for a second. You guys go right there. Okay. But who should we declare war on next? Hmm. This would give us a lot, but. Sing Sing. Mongolia. Hmm. Probably going to be Mongolia so that then we can conquer Japan. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Establish protectorate over this, so that then I can go attack this. And, yeah, let's continue. Apparently, Austria just became a really communist nation. Oh, no. I am shaking in my boots. Let's just go send an army down there, just to, just to have a little bit of fun. Okay, let's see. Mechanized mining, all good. Let's see. Where are our ships? Right there. Let's see. We could probably start the war. I'm pretty sure Colombia's. I'm pretty sure Colombia, Brazil are not gonna have enough s troops to fight me navally. So let's just finish this. Calling all my allies. Romania, you're my only ally I need. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna join the war. Hey, suicidal or USCA, you guys joined the war. Okay, good job. Now you guys are probably gonna go get de de demolished by my army. That's kind of sad that Brazil didn't join in, but I guess you can't win all of them. So let's see, uh, you guys are allied with Ecuador. Probably should have actually gone for Ecuador. Actually, now nah, I think about it, now nah, because then I don't want to. I don't want to go to war with, with America just yet. Let's see. Hey, Panama, would you like to give us military access? No. Would you like to give us anything? Or you guys are gonna be those annoying little idiots that are gonna make me furious, and I definitely will wipe you guys out. I mean, right now you guys have a chance to live because I do not pay attention. But if you guys really make me mad, oi. Okay, go send that army over there then. Since I can't actually get military access, we're going to go send our army over there. Destroy any USC forces that might try to siege up my land down there. Hopefully I'll make it there in time before they siege it up. Yay, the British have made this fort so it's not going to be destroyed easily. Okay, wow, we're sieging through this land very quickly. Okay, I don't even care if they siege up. For Colombia, like I said, I don't even care if they siege up my land. They just better not siege up any of the land that I try to recede. I mean, that's basically how I'm playing this. If they try to recede some of the land I try to recede, I'm going to go kill that army. Okay, I'm going to go kill that army in a second. Let me just go siege up this. Okay. Because obviously they want to play. And I'm going to have to destroy them for it. Let's see. Truth be told. Let's go right there. Kind of kind of wish Grand Columbia had taken control over all these places, though. Kind of would have made my life a lot easier. No denying. No denying that. But now I'm going to have to go destroy these guys. Let's see. Where are you guys fleeing to? You guys aren't fleeing. Destroy them. Just completely and utterly destroy the Colombian army so that they make sure they know there is no hope for them. Support them! Let's see. How's my troops doing in uh, in the South in the South Latin American empires? There we go. That, that's more like it. Let's go see. Go destroy them. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's go see. Go send an army down. Where's our army moving? Boja. Go right there, the Boga. Bogata? Or Bo... I can't really pronounce that. Okay, seems like they actually did conquer that. Okay, 
But then you guys are gonna start up here, and you guys are gonna slowly start to work your way down. I mean, yeah, you're gonna slowly work your way down. Hey, Cuba, you could actually be useful in this. Cuba, come come fight for me. I mean, with your limited amount of provisions, you guys should be able to some do something. Okay, you guys over here, go pick up more men from uh from my continent. Okay, let's see. We are fighting the rest of you guys. You guys go down here. And I think we basically defeated them all in just one move. We got more infamy coming up. Go right here. Yeah. Let's see. Just keep conquesting. Let's see. Well, who's Mexico allied with? At war with? Not really allied with. Wish I could find some allies for them. Okay, allow annexation. So we're ready to go to war with Mongolia at any point now. Okay, if we're ready now, then what we're going to need to do is actually do a couple things. First, let's see, how are our troop movements over here doing? Oh, we kind of have some clippers, dang it. Okay, well, pretty sure it wouldn't be that hard to take over Mongolia. It's the uh, big buddy that protects Mongolia that's really going to be our issue. Let's go see, let's go send some armies over here, go deal with this. <laughs> Um, we have this for like one year, so we can do, we don't have to necessarily go after it right now, but still. Uh, that's kind of annoying, because I would love to go after it right now, but I'm pretty sure Japan has navy. <laughs> I guess is the best way of putting it, let's see. Ships, 145, us. Yeah, but we're mostly made of really bad ships. Uh, actually... Actually, Japan's not even on here in terms of Navy. What? Wait, wait. Country sort by J. J, Japan. Three ships! What? Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Um, everyone that needs to be on a ship, everyone go right here. We're gonna go group up right here, go pick up an army. We're gonna start invading Japan. <laughs> wow, Japan has no Navy. Did I literally destroy the entire navy last time I invaded? I don't remember! I don't remember I even invaded them that badly. Okay, you guys to split up so you guys don't kill each other. Okay. We can slowly start to destroy the, the, the Latin American empires. Okay, I mean, we don't have to be hasty about it, I should say. I mean, we're gonna win this. Just, it's gonna take us a little bit. Let's see, there's some... USDA troops who are trying to seize down my place. Don't really appreciate that, but can't really do much. You guys are still very weak. I can't use you guys yet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Cuba! <gasps> Cuba actually landed troops! Oh, my goodness! Yay, Cuba! You guys are so good vassals. So good vassals. Uh, okay. But back over here. Chan only has three ships. Three ships, guys. We can fight that. With this ship, that means they literally have no advantage over me. I could literally just go keep sending more troops in. Um, first, though, we're probably going to have to deal with the Mongolian threat. You know, I kind of want... To be honest, I kind of want to get Italy in on this, just so I could go annihilate Mongolia quicker, but... Let's just go finish on Mongolia. Okay? You guys right here, go right here. Alright, you guys right here. What we could probably do is just destroy any, like, um, Japanese ships that come up. Alright. Declare war, establish protectorate. Calling all willing allies. Let's see, does Japan go join in? No? What? Japan, you don't join in on this war. What? You just go, wait, wait. You just go let your little friend here die. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, everyone's really trying to appease me right now. <laughs> Talk about appeasement. Seriously. Everyone's just like, yeah, we're not going to mess with them right now. Let's hopefully hope that these guys will. You know, eventually see that they don't need to come conquer everyone. I'm, uh, wow, that's that's kind of amazing. They're just everyone's like being really nice to me. They're like, you know, maybe if we don't, if we give him all he wants, he will leave us alone. I'm just like, oh, you guys are so much idiots, but keep keep doing that. I love I love being praised and honored. Oh my goodness. Really, Japan, you're gonna let me just go take over? Oh my goodness, Mongolia, I I feel so sorry for you. I, I, I will be the first to say, I'm actually legitly sorry to you guys, because I actually thought I was going to be dealing with a way more powerful force of, like, you know, 
Chinese men or something, or I mean Japanese men, but apparently they left you to go die out in the gutters like just a ravenous dog. I'd be mean, wow. Uh, if you're gonna die, if you're gonna die by your friends, you might as well die by your friends. I mean, seriously, that's just. They have no chance now. They have absolutely no chance. There's no way they can win this battle now. I'm just gonna over swamp them. Oh my goodness. That makes me feel really sad, people. I, I can't even describe to you how that makes me feel. Cause it's like they just gave up on their friends. Just flatly gave up. They wouldn't even try. They don't even want to try to defend them. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's see, we're invading almost all the land up here. Let's see, they think that they're doing a lot of damage to my empire by conquering that little pieces. Of course, as I've said before, they're not really doing anything. All they're really doing is just being an annoyance. And wow, okay. Am I finished up with my sieges over here, probably? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For shame, Japan. For shame for... For shame for like abandoning your friend. Let's see. I really, I'm gonna have to really try hard to get you guys to declare war, aren't I? Okay, I'm gonna have to try a little bit harder. But the next person I'm actually going to fight though is the um, Italians, because I want to see if I can get Bohemia and and Italy out of here now. Because again, they're getting a little bit too annoying for my taste. I don't like when there's a big gigantic alliance in the middle of my empire. It kind of annoys me, if you know what I mean. So. We're going to focus in on that next. Then from there, where we're going to be is... We're probably we're probably going to go invade Mexico next. Uh, no. You guys add war goal. Conquest. There we go. Give me that and you guys will be free. Okay. You guys probably aren't going to offer me that. So, no. Let's see over here. We're probably all done. You guys go over here. It's almost done with this siege, so I'll finish up. Okay, you guys go right here, go siege up the main capital. Oh my god. Man. Japan, 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 you abandoned, you abandoned him. They just abandoned. Oh. Man, people must really be scared of my empire now. I mean, seriously, if they're abandoning their friends left and right, there's absolutely nothing they can do to stop me. I mean, even America's not even saying anything. I'm literally right in their manifest destiny BS. So, yeah. They should at least be trying to try to stop me, but but they aren't. So that sh that shows you just how much people are willing to ignore what I do because they realize I am way too powerful at this point. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We're almost. Don't don't wait, Colombia. We're almost done. We just need to conquer these last little bits of of Latin America. Okay, rock me in the cradle. Let's see. And then excellent fish. Let's see. Go back over here. Let's see, let's go right there, go right there, go right there, and go right there. Let's see, and then you guys are going to conquer that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see, go conquer this. Yeah, I really don't, I believe at this point no one else is going to care about my infamy. Alright, I thought you were going to San Jose, that's why I stopped. But, Austria collapsed! Oh my goodness, is Austria dead yet? Seriously, they're like a one province minor. How are they still functioning? Okay, so you guys, let's see who's the war. Let's hope I do this. I'm gonna save it right now just so I can do this correctly because I already know which order I want to do this in. This is just an order thing. I don't want to make sure I mess up, but I'm going to do the USCA first. Does that end the war? Huh? You guys rejected my terms? What? Oh, we still got one more. How do they still got one more province? How did I not notice that? <laughs> okay. By the way, make sure that our relationships with Italy are at an all-time low. Okay, next turn they should be able to start doing all my stuff. Wow. Completely forgot about that. Let's see. We got all of our sieges up in uh, Mongolia done. Let's see. Finish up with these two. And we're basically all done. So once those finish, Mongolia should be offering us a peace offer. Let's see, right here in Italy, decrease it, there we go. Now they are officially on our hate list, so we should be able to declare war on them as soon as we can. But let's see, let's see, forced to repay debts, yes, 
USCA, you will be forced to repay debt. Okay, there we go. Now, you guys. <laughs> okay. Ottoman Grand Colombia. That is how you spell it, everyone. Okay. Let's see. Italy. Give me one more turn. Let's see. And you guys also end the war. Uh, doesn't really matter. Either one of us ends the war. There we go. And now... More colonies! Yay! <laughs> but at the same time... Italy. Conquest. Let's go right there. Go start sending all of our armies over there to go prepare for the Italian conquest. Should not be... Even, even nearly as strenuous as the first conquest. Let's go see right there. Let's go see right there. And let's see, is there anything else I need to include? Nah, these guys are fine. These guys, go send this army right over here. We need to go destroy both Bohemia again, because now they become too big for their bridges. And now we just relax. As we slowly look at our empire, as it slowly starts to expand, the Ottoman USCA has like a couple good troops down here. Yep, a couple good armies. Let's go see. I'm gonna go send you guys to the Pacific Coast, because I do, after I'm done with Italy, I want to declare war on China. I mean, not China. Japan! Okay. Defeat the rest of Japanese forces, and officially declare, and then officially declare that basically we have no other rival in the, in the world. And then it's finally time for us to go destroy the United States, because, well, they're going to be the last power to deal with me. Ring leaders, whatever, just do what you have to. I don't want any, don't want anyone to die. But if they really have to die, I guess it wouldn't really cause a big dent for my population. Wow, that was insanely morbid. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I, I think this power hungry stuff is starting to get to my head a little bit. Like seriously, having this much power is now like, oh, I can do almost anything, and no one can stop me. Like, no one in the world can stop me, no matter what they do. I'm going to conquer the world in a very chauvinistic manner. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There was an army right here. Where did it go? I think that might be it. Let's go stick some men more right here. This is going to be a slaughter once we get to it. Just like, bang, 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 bang. And then we can instantly destroy all the Italian troops down here. The, Ita the it Italians are not going to be that hard of a nation to destroy. Especially with our good friends Armenia, who are stronger than them. Oh my goodness, Bel Belis. As soon as you guys are not underneath my control, you guys go and have rebels. You see what happens when you break away from my empire? There isn't good things that happen. I know this. I know all the other free nations in the world, I quote free because they're really more trapped and under-oppressed by their own stupidity leaders. They basically, they, they try to deceive you to think that being free nation is all great and all fine. It's really not. Underneath my empire, you're safe. Because literally, I own the entire world, so... Literally, everywhere you could go, you can have a safe. And you can trade with almost anyone in my empire. You can trade from Britain all the way to China. And not have a single worry in the world. Because I have so many ports and so many different docking spaces. It's like the greatest thing in the world. There's some kind of crisis going on, let's see. I mean, at this point, we could probably support any crisis and probably have a great time. Let's see. Uh, Russia wants to be formed. Yeah, you know what? No. If anyone tries to join in on this crisis, I'll come in. But if no one else is going to join in, I don't want... Please don't make Russia again. We don't want Russia back in our lives. Yeah, we really don't want Russia back in our lives. I've already dealt with Russia one time. I don't want to deal with them again. No, I'm not supporting you, Russia. Yeah! See? By the way, how is the crisis mode looking? Oh, the only unstable nation is them. And me, I'm very much solid. No one is complaining about my empire. I mean, right now, I'm still under the one, the one sultan rule. That's actually pretty amazing. This is like literally one emperor of the entire world, and no one else is going to mess with me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just I'm just waiting for this goddess bell eye while I'm just floundering my internal, you know, power in front of all the other nations. They can't really do anything to stop me, and they know it. They, they know at this point in the game they are basically royally screwed. 
No matter what they do, I'm just gonna have a bigger army and just be able to build way more. I mean, might even. Ah. Oh. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.